Hey, what's up, speakerphiles? Willington here, and with me, I have the Earfun U-Boom Bluetooth speaker. It's running Bluetooth 5.0, has two 45 millimeter drivers and two passive radiators. It's rated for up to 16 hours of play time, depending on how and what you listen to. It charges via USB type C and they provide a USB-C cable with the paperwork stuff in the box. The speaker is also IPX7 rated, which makes it completely waterproof. And it also has a 360 sound output. It's covered with a fabric finish, which I think looks pretty good. And it will handle wear and tear better than plastic wood. Around the back behind this flap is where you'll find your charging port and an aux input. And up on top is where your power button, the play pose, volume rockers, Bluetooth, and the indoor outdoor switch buttons are found. And as the indoor outdoor button suggests, this speaker has two sound modes. Has the indoor mode, which is the default mode. And when you press the outdoor button, it turns into a different sound settings, which enhances the sound for better outdoor listening experience. And to give you a better understanding of how they compare between the indoor and outdoor mode, here is a sound sample. And as usual, I'm gonna be using a high quality binaural microphone for this sound sample between the indoor and outdoor mode. So for the best sound experience, please use headphones. With that said, here is the difference between the indoor and the outdoor mode on the U-Boom Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> And like with most speakers that have the indoor and outdoor mode settings, um, the indoor mode sounds way better than the outdoor mode. It is not really a big drastic difference between the two, but you can definitely tell that the indoor mode sounds better than the outdoor mode. Now, this is understandable just because when you are outside, the focus is usually more on the loudness of a speaker as in comparison to having richer lows or something like that. So kind of makes sense, but I personally will usually use a speaker in the indoor mode and just have it closer to me if that's a possibility and rather than just turning it into the outdoor mode so that's just for me but they at least it's nice that they do give you those two options for you to choose use the sound settings that you would prefer to listen to if you're wondering how it compares to other speakers wonder no more because i have the wonder boom 2 right here which is also a 360 speaker um so we can compare its sound to that of the u boom and also i have the jbl flip 5 right here so i will be dropping that one in a little bit here and there because I know someone will ask for it but anyway so here we go I'll be dropping those two in just so you have something to compare the sound of the one I mean the U boom right here to those two speakers um, as usual Again, I'll be using high quality binaural microphones, so you do really need to use headphones for the best sound experience
Okay, so generally, I think the speaker sounds good with a pretty good amount of bass coming out of it. Um, it loses some bass at maximum volume, but if you keep it around 70% volume or lower, there is plenty of bass to go around. The mids and highs come out clear, so nothing is overpowering the other, which is good. So overall, I do think they did a pretty good job with the U Boom Guy here, most especially if you consider the price. In fact, it's like half the price of the two speakers that we just compared it to. Also, depending on when you're watching this, Earfun is doing giveaways of products and discount codes when they're ce celebrating their first year anniversary. So if you're interested in winning something or a discount code to buy something from their store, go check out the link in the description down there. But that's it from me today. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.